What's up guys, Galaxy S3 Modder here, and I am back with a ROM review of Hyperdrive RLS 13 by Esprit 94 on my T-Mobile Galaxy S3. It's the only uh, Galaxy S3 that I own, so that's the only, the only ROMs I can review are ones for this phone. Now, I can try to review ROMs that have multiple carriers, which is what I generally try to do. This one is for all the major carriers. All, all, the, all of the major carriers. Alright, let's get started. I'm doing a full install from a ROM installer, so this video might be 10 to 15 minutes long. Just letting you guys know in advance, if you guys want to watch this, go ahead. Alright, so let's go. Let's power into recovery. There it goes. And during the well, while I'm finding the um, ROM, it will be blurry. You won't be able to read my screen. I'm sorry about that. But you guys know what to do. All you have to do is find your thing wherever you put it. And mine's right here. Yes, install. All right. So now it's going into the. Now it's opening the package. Opening the package. And this might take a minute or two, depending on your, uh, well, it's just depending on whatever, really. There's no surefire way to tell how long it's going to take. But most of the time, it shouldn't take more than two minutes, and it's going to pop up with a little hyperdrive logo pretty soon. See, starting a Roman installer right there. See, hyperdrive. Alright, and that's going to go. Should fade away pretty soon. All right, and there it is. There's the Roma installer. All right, by Deviant Development, by Esprit 94 up there. There it is. All right, so we're just gonna hit next. What do you do? You have to. You can't redistribute the work. Pretty much, that's all it's saying. Next, please read. You must wipe data, cache, and Dalvik cache three times before flashing. All right. As just the change log shows everything that you can do, pretty much. Next. Alright, system information. Run full ROM install. And see, you can have Verizon, Sprint, T Mobile, ATT, Cricket, US Cellular, Metro, PCS, Galaxy S3s. So all supported. And it's all one ROM, it's like a gig. About a gig, right? A gig and a half, maybe. Alright, this is what I'm running. And yours is going to be blue. I think so, like mine. It shouldn't be any other color. Alright, so then you have all these options. HTC, Zens, AOSP, Sony, Xperia Z, and Naked. And Developer's Pick if you want Developer's Pick. But I'm going to do full ROM install. Full custom install. Just to show you what everything has, alright? So look at all the TouchWiz options. You have different TouchWiz launchers. 5x5, 4x5, 5x6, and 4x4. I like the regular one. Next. Choose your Samsung apps. Alright. All share play, okay. Now what clock, clock, clock. I like I like all the clocks. I'm just gonna install those. Flipboard is amazing. I'll have I don't need keys. There's no need for keys. You're running custom. Media Hub's cool. I listened to that. I had the free trial. S memo. I suggest. Oh, I like the the uh, cal. No, I don't. I'm gonna take that off actually. Samsung apps. I don't want Samsung apps. Pop up browser. That's cool. You have. Stock S4 stuff. Must put on the S4 stuff. And that's pretty much it. That's all I want. But you guys can see there. You can read that if you want. S4 features, S Translate, S Voice, Music Player, and Awesome Note. All from the Alexi S4. You can have default TouchWiz, TouchWiz email with security disabled, or AOSP email. I'm going to just use the AOSP. I don't really use any of those. I use my Gmail. You can hit me up at galaxyS3modder at gmail.com. I don't know why it's so like dark. Well, let's see. Here. That's weird. It's not that dark. Usually. Okay. Let's go here. File manager my files. Sanji mod. That'll work. Since five launcher, you have all these launchers. And they all work. I've tried it before, but I'm not gonna install any of those. You have all the AOSP features you want. AOSP camera and gallery, messaging, calendar. I like the calendar. The sounds, the keyboard. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to keep touch with launcher. 
Alright. Um, second, I'm gonna turn on a light. Cause I don't know why it's not being... There we go. There we go. Okay. See, whenever it does that, it just goes from, like, light over here, and it gets darker. It's weird. I'm sorry about that. But, you're looking at the phone anyway. You don't really care about the other stuff. Alright, let's focus back in over here. All your Google apps. Google Plus. Google... Google Maps, Street, Hacked YouTube. I don't like the Hacked YouTube. It's black. The Hacked YouTube is it is black pretty much, and it's just hard to see stuff. I don't like it. Honestly, it's not a good idea to get if you're a bit a uh, big YouTube user. All your Xperia features: launcher, calculator, player, notes, torch, widget, Walkman music, flow gallery, editor, social life, and keyboard. Who? It's a lot of Sony Xperia stuff. That's all if you want the Sony Xperia experience. <laughs> experience that looks funny all right anyway uh my ui music or Apollo music i don't need that uh swipe and mojo keyboard N number of toggles i'm gonna i always leave that alone because i don't like messing with it you select your ROM modifications these are like ad blocking files i wouldn't touch the volume hacks i've heard that they're known to blow speakers which isn't good isn't good black settings i'm gonna leave the white settings because i want to see what that looks like and I don't want that to rotate, so I'm just going to get next. None of the audio mods, I don't like that. I'd rather keep my speakers. And what else do I want? Polaris Viewer, Eternal emul Emulator, sorry. VPN Client, Hider Pro, My Verizon, Verizon vi Visual Voicemail, Adobe Flash Player, ROM Toolbox, Screenify, and LG Weather Widget. I want Flash Player. That's good, though. I'll take that. Alright, Facebook Launcher, Twitter, XDA Developer App. XDA Developer App. I always get that. It's a great app. Alright, I'm gonna go Classic Hyperdrive. Or, no, Hyperdrive Zoom. Those are just the two little boot animations you can choose from. Alright, predefined theme. I'm gonna go the Samsung Galaxy S4 theme. You can also do the Sense 5, Xperia Z, and the Jelly Bean Domination theme. But I'm gonna choose the S4. And you, you only have one kernel to choose from. I don't even know why it gives you that choice there. Alright, next. Alright, it is installing. Alright, well, I'm going to come back to you guys when it's about like 90%. I'm just going to let this install for now, because why, why make you sit here and listen to me talk? Alright, so I'll be back, guys. Alright, guys, it just finished installing. Just now, alright? So when it's done, it's going to say hyperdrive install success, and you can just hit next at the bottom here. And it'll reboot it. To reboot your system, it's going to just go here, don't worry. And now it should be rebooting. Well, it is rebooting. And hyperdrive by SP94. That's actually the Deviant development symbol that they put in there. I didn't know what that was at first, to be honest with you. Like, what does that mean? Oh, it's a backwards D. I like that, just a little hyperdrive. Hyperdrive, let's see if I can get a good angle. Can't really get a good angle with this camera. Hyperdrive, you can kind of see it from that angle, which is sad. But it's, it's pretty cool. Pretty classy. I'll, make, I'll have a few screenshots. The one thing I do like about this ROM is the wallpapers. I really like the wallpapers. And the amount of customization features. I'm not going to go, I'm just letting you guys know now, I'm going to probably not go into full detail on all of it, because I went into the Aroma Installer, and the Aroma Installer shows most of the features that you can get. Alright. Still loading. The first time loading ROM is usually always the longest. It shouldn't take this long to load up any other time. But now. Unless you're in a boot loop. If you're in a boot loop, it's not good. And then you'd be stuck at the kernel logo. Or the boot logo. I don't know. I don't know which logo you'd be stuck at. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to pause this video until it pops back up. Alright, I'll be right back, guys. Hey guys, my phone is actually not done booting yet, but I want to show you this really cool site. It's my site, galaxys3modder.webs.com. Right, and it's got a little welcome info right here. You can go over to the ROM section, right here, ROMs, side, and you can scroll down. You've got all my videos here. 
I only have three so far. But this one that I'm doing right now is going to make four. And I have a little mod. I only have one mod so far. But I'm do I have another on the way. See? Right there. I know it gives you a little description. And forums, if you want to talk about it. No one's actually joined the forum yet. I'm not, if you've noticed, I'm not really a, one of the higher people on YouTube. But I'm still on here. You can please go and just talk about your different ROMs and talk about different mods that you know of. And then lastly, the Contact Us section. If you have any questions, just go to my Contact Us, give me your name, put in your thing, and it'll just automatically go to my, my inbox. It also has other contact information, my direct email, and my Google+. Alright, so I'm going to come back to you guys really next time when the ROM's ready. Alright, thank you. Alright guys, the phone is now booted, and it got past the little stage, it was my fault, I didn't wipe the, um, the cache. So, immediately, if you look at this ROM, do not show again, you can hit that right there, you can see it already has the, um, what is it, Galaxy S4 wallpapers, right? It says swipes, swipe screen for hyperdrive, which is cool, alright. Scroll down your notifications. This looks just the basic notifications. It didn't make me set it up, which is weird. So you're probably gonna have to go to the settings to add your different accounts, which we were gonna go to anyway. Here's the white settings as you saw in the uh Aroma installer. Android version four point one point two. Jelly bean. Pretty cool. Alright. Let's back out of there. Refocus my camera. Come on now. There you go. Okay. So now, now we can go into all the settings. All these other settings are the same. You still have all your motion. Show an example of the motion. Let's go into the. Let's just take an app. Let's take all share play. Enable motion. Let's take that. And you can just kind of move it around with motion. So you get all your stock features. It didn't take away that much. Alright, let's go back into settings. So I don't get sidetracked. Alright, the main, the only difference is hyperdrive control. That's right, hyperdrive control. Custom settings, general mods doesn't do anything, it's just the window control and the super, super user. Alright, lock screen mods, you can choose your different lock screen. Ink effect, yes, choose your ink color. I'm gonna go Android green. Android green. Kind of. It's kind of Android green. Then your lock screen, you can choose Galaxy S3 with the Ripple. And then you have all these other lock screens that are fully functional. They work really well. Just try them out. I think they're really cool. I'm not going to ruin the surprise for you guys if you don't know what some of these are. And you find a really cool one. But it's it's worth giving a try. Alright, so let's lock it up right here. And you do also have an option for lock screen torch. Alright, I guess that didn't... That didn't work. No, I didn't turn on ripple effect in the actual lock screen. What is that? Alright. Alright, this should work now. Alright, see you have ink effect. Perfectly working ink effect. Alright, so let's go back here. Let's get out of lock screen. Interface mods, you can choose your battery icon. Like in the corner there, you can do, let's just do Android. It's a little Android now. Well, that's actually terrible. I don't like that one. Crisis. That's kind of cool. Oh, kind of cool. I like the stock one. But you can change that. You can have your toggles. The order of your toggles. Which is nice. The LED control blocking mode. Page buddy. You say if you plugged in your headphones, it would give up a little, it would give a little page just for your, uh, like headphones or whatever. That's pretty cool. And three minute mod. This is all your color changing. You ask again next time. No. 50 minutes. Don't ask again. Grant. This is basically all your, all of this stuff in here. You have the little uh, bar down there, all your notifications, and you have the settings. That everything in here, that can be changed. That's all that is. Like toggle mod, right? I like the toggle mod. The toggle mod's actually really nice. Really nice toggles. You have a lot of toggles. If they don't move, it's my fault though. All right, toggle mod, notification color, carrier color. That kind of stuff. The one thing that doesn't really work though, it says you can have carrier text, but uh, the developer 
put in sort of like this deviant development down there, so you don't really get a carrier logo. It's just whatever the uh, it just stays deviant development really. All right, you have wallpaper scrolling down there and launcher rotation. I don't really like that. All right, app mods you can customize that. Download files. It's basically just little things, just just little things. It's not really important. Audio mods, advanced mods. That's pretty much it. Framework install. I don't mess with that kind of stuff. I'm not a dev. I just review. All right, reboot if you need to. It's pretty much that though. All right, so now that you've done that. You have all your same settings as before, so let's dive into the apps. Alright, so you have basically all the same apps as before, except notice you have the 4.2.2 uh, gallery as you've uh, selected it, and two cameras. Two different cameras, the stock TouchWiz right there, and the 4.2.2 camera, which is nice. And you have Flash Player, which is also nice. A themed messaging, themed messaging, you have Pop Up Browser. That works well too, I've tried it before. Let's go Wi Fi real fast here. Right. Well, you know, I'll do that later, it doesn't really matter. But the pop up browser does work if you want it. If you're a fan of pop up browser like I am, you can take it right to the regular thing. I'm on Edge Connection for T Mobile. So it's not going to load fast, it's just going to be very slow. Alright, let's get out of that. You have the same 4.2.2 stuff, and you have a working, I forgot to mention this, a working multi-window control. So you want calculator, which I do. I do like calculator. And, let's see here. Let's go Gmail. Alright, add an account. But they both work. Alright, they, they're fine. What that does though, don't show again. And you have the four uh, Galaxy Note, or not Note, uh, Galaxy S4 camera. You can change the keyboards too. Uh, they, uh, you can change it to the normal, uh, what is it? 4.2 camera, or not camera, uh, keyboard. But yes, yeah, multi window is working. Both cameras are functional. Let's show you one of the functional cameras. This one. Alright. Okay, for some reason it's sideways. Okay, but yes, it is working, working very well. The camera works. Taking a camera with a camera is pretty hard though. But it, it it's fine. Six pictures, shoot. All right, we can go to the gallery here. Enable motion, and the once again the motion does work. All right. Alright, well that's pretty much, that pretty much sums up everything. You get all your choices that you did in a Roma installer. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. You get a, a lot of mods. It's a great one to work look into. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. If you guys are interested in more ROM reviews, subscribe to me. Like it down there. And hit me up with a comment if you have any questions. Don't forget to like me on Google+. Plus, or add me on Google+. Plus, and go to my website, galaxys3modder.webs.com. It'll be in the description below. Alright, thanks guys. Peace.